Okay, now welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is question number eight, part B, from this um, June 2022 Pure Mathematics P3 paper from um, Edexcel. So we've done part A in a separate video because that was to do with differentiation, and now we've got part B, which is to do with integration. So I'm keeping them separate so I can save them under separate playlists for those topics. So we were given this equation for the velocity reached by a sprinter running a 100 meters race okay so part a we had to find the maximum velocity he reached we used differentiation now it's telling us that the sprinter runs 100 meters in t seconds such that the integral between 0 and t of this function v um, is equal to 100 with respect to t so basically the area under this graph is equal to 100 okay so we know that and we got to show that t is a solution of the equation. t equals 1 over 12 times all of this expression here. So we're going to use integration because we know to find the area under the curve, as they've told us here. We have to integrate the function v between these values of 0 and t. So if I integrate this original expression here, 12 minus e to the power of t minus 10, minus 12 times e to the power of negative 0 0.75 t with respect to t between the limits of 0 and capital T my answer has to become out as 100 okay so if I now integrate this and resolve it for t I should get this expression over here that's what I should end up with so let's make a start now to integrate this everything's ready for integration no problem here. So this 12 is going to become 12t. And this is minus e to the power of t minus 10 divided by the differential what's inside the function. This is like um, integration. Um, with differentiation, we multiply by the differential what's inside the function. But for the exponential function, when we are integrating, we divide by the differential what's inside the function. And the differential of t minus 10 is 1, so that stays as it is minus 12 e to the power of negative 0 0.75 t so it stays the same but then we divide by the differential of what's inside the function now this time the differential of what's inside the function is negative 0 0.75 and we stop there we don't have plus c because it's a definite integral we have limits 0 and t and that's going to give us 100 so i'm going to just rewrite this in a more friendly way so i've got negative 12 divided by negative three quarters basically which is negative 12 divided by negative three quarters negative 12 times 4 over 3 negative so you're going to have positive 3 and 12 cancel leaving you with 4 so it's going to be 16 so it's going to be plus 16 here so I'll, before i start substituting i'll write that so 12t minus e to the power of 10 minus t plus 16 e to the power of negative 0 0.75 t between the limits of 0 and t is equal to 100. Now I can start substituting the values of t and 0 into this and set up my equation. So this is going to be 12 times capital T. So I'm replacing the t with capital T first. So 12 times capital T minus e times capital T minus 10, e to the power sorry, of capital T minus 10, plus 16 e to the power of negative 0 0.75 capital T. Then I've got to also put 0 into here. Now, don't think that 0 will always cause everything to become 0. In fact, it won't. So you've got to be careful about that. 0 in this is going to be 0. But 0 into this will be negative e to the power of negative 10. If I place the t with 10, uh, with 0, sorry. And here, if I put replace the, the t with 0, I'll have 16 plus 16 e to the power of 0. Now, e to the power of 0 is 1, so this is going to be plus 16. Okay, and that's equal to 100. So let's carry on and just simplify this a little bit before we rearrange it. So this is exactly the same as it is up there. I've got plus e to the power of negative 10 and minus 16. And here I'm going to have 100. So now I want to make this t the subject of this formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep 12t on this side and everything else I will um, put on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to add 16 to 100. That'll be 116. And then I'm going to put everything else. So I'm going to add this to both sides. So plus e to the power of t minus 10. And I've got to get rid of this. So I'll subtract 16 e to the power of negative 0 
t. And I'm going to take away e to the power of negative 10 from both sides. So e to the power of negative e to the power of negative 10. And that's got rid of everything. That 16 got added to that. All right, so now I've got to, uh, to, to write t as a subject. So we can see that it's almost the same apart from I've written these the other way around. That's all. I've just written these the other way around. If you look at what we've got to do, we've got the 116. We've got, uh, we've got e to the power of t minus 10 minus 16 e to the power of, Yeah, so it's the same thing what I've written. It's just that these two are written the other way around. So I will just write them in the same way that they've given it to us. 116, they wrote this first. Minus 16 e to the power of negative 0.75t plus e to the power of t minus 10 minus e to the power of minus 10. And there's our answer. So you got minus plus minus, minus plus minus, um, 116, minus 16 e to the power of negative 0 0.75 t, plus e to the power of t minus 10, minus e to the power of minus 10. Yeah. Okay, so we got everything as required, so we can be rest assured that we went and did everything correctly. So this type of question, you have to be careful to show your steps very clearly. All right, because they will be looking out for people who just write absolute nonsense between here and there and then just write whatever they're supposed to get so you should be very clear in your steps make it neat show the examiner you know exactly what you're doing and um, just to you know make sure don't uh, you know just leave out some of these important steps okay so there's the answer for a part b which i said is about integration okay and part um, C is kind of linked to this, but it's not to do with integration, it's got to do with iteration. So part C I will save in a third video, separate video, so that you can, um, I, can, I can save it in the playlist for iteration. Okay, numerical methods and integration, and, and iteration so that it's, it's separate topics. So at the end of this video, you'll see a link over here which will take you to the playlist for this paper in which you'll be able to find part A and part C of this question. And at the link down here, you will find um, the playlist for integration from P3. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.